I assume there's going to be some scoreboard watching from Shanahan. He's a smart guy, so he'll see if the Eagles are up by three scores, even early in that game, he's, he's going to pull the dogs off, right? I mean, I would yeah. think so. But so that so that's like maybe you want to go with Arizona in that spot since that's what they need. Um, but I can't. Not the way San Francisco has played of late. I don't have a play on this game. I, I just find that angle to be interesting, the scoreboard watching that we're going to see, and maybe it's worth a live bet. If the Eagles are up big, maybe you jump on on Arizona because you know San Francisco is going to pull their starters. I was thinking live betting as well, or it's Cardinals or nothing for me because I could see a situation where the Niners are not motivated to win by margin and just take their foot off the gas. So if that happens, it would be Cardinals plus 14, but – I think I'm just going to track this one and watch it live and see if I want to play anything. I'm thinking about first halves. Yeah. I'm thinking about a bunch of first halves with the team that's playing for something, but then once the scoreboard goes a certain way, they pull their guys, right? The 49ers, mm -hmm. the Eagles, the Cowboys all play at the same time, all in the same boat. Once the Cowboys realize the Eagles are up a bunch in the second half, Joe, they're not going to keep Dak out there. They're playing next weekend. Live betting opportunities for which ones? I wouldn't say Philly Giants, would you? But yes, for yeah. San Francisco and Dallas, because it all uh, links back to the Philly game. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That, that makes good sense. That makes perfect sense to me.